Okay, guys, let's use Cricut Design Space to make some zipper overlays. This is an easy project that you can use using all the free shapes here provided in your Cricut Design Space software. The first thing you need to know when you start this project or before you start this project is you need to know exactly how big your zipper opening is going to be. So where you're placing the zipper for your bag. In my case, I want the opening here, which is the center of the overlay to be six inches long. Then after you have that measurement, then you can kind of decide how big you want the overlay to be and you know that the shape that you want your overlay to be so for the purpose of this video i am going to say that the inside is six inches and um the outside is total two inches so i have um uh, about a quarter inch on the top, a quarter inch on the bottom for distance, and about half an inch to a quarter inch on each side, okay? Again, this is depending on the shape that you want your zipper overlay to be. So once you know your measurements, you're going to go to the shape section here, and you're going to select the square. The square comes automatically in the size of two inches by two inches. But we want this square to turn into a rectangle. You may think, well, Ali, why not pick the rectangle? If you pick the rectangle, the rectangle has a rounded corner shape, which could make it a little bit difficult when you're adding shapes to this and this is what we're going to be doing um, but it, it's up to you it really depends on what type of shape you are wanting to do and if you like that rounded edge then this will be easier but i'm going to show you with a uh, square and then again you can just change it from there so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to unlock here the the size because if i keep it locked when i change it it's going to be proportional the growth or how big or how small and i don't want it to be proportional okay i don't so i'm gonna take it back to 2.2 and 2 unlock here i still want the height to be two inches but the width i want it to be six inches which is the measurements for my inside of the zipper uh, where the zipper teeth are going to be so i hit enter and now i have my final my measurements and i'm going to lock it okay this is the outer part of the overlay so here's where the fun part begins is what shape do you want outside of this so say i did this one with a round so i go here to the shapes and then i picked um, an oval shape or you can pick um, a semicircle shape, you know, up to you. Or if you want it pointy, you can pick the hectagon shape and, you know, just make it where this one is probably the easiest because right there you already have the shape that you want, you know. Uh, you can get really creative so we are going to um we're going to do the oval and i like to change the colors so that i can clearly see the difference you know between one shape and the other and this is six inches but i want at least half an inch on each side so that means that my total size will be seven inches right six and a half and six and a half so i want to add a half an inch on each side so i'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see and um this shape right here let me and then you start moving this so that it matches your bottom shape so you're going to stretch this and as you notice i left it 
locked because I kind of want to keep the proportions when it comes to this. So if I place it right over there, you see how round it is, how nice it is, but it's a little bit more than half an inch. So if I, but if I push it further down this way to the half an inch mark, now I have this little pointy edges from the bottom and I don't want that. So you got to decide what's more important, the actual length, okay, of your overlay or um, the shape, okay. But I think I can go, I can have both. <laughs> so I am going to match this to my half a, half an inch here. And I'm going to move this a little bit fur, uh, further up so that I can see my half an inch mark here. And I like that. I like that. But this uh, bottom one, it's come is sticking up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that... Uh, this rectangle layer and I'm going to push it up on top of the oval and I'm just going to move it make it smaller until I reach that point of where the oval begins and if I move the oval up now you see I don't see this the pointy edges anymore and actually um I can make this a little bit smaller and there it is. It's perfect. It's a beautiful round shape and I'm keeping my mark of half an inch over the edge. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So to do that, I take this layer and I click here where it says duplicate and I duplicate the layer and I move it to the other side of my rectangle. And again, I'm just going to look for that half an inch mark, which is right there. That's where I want it to be. So my overlay is seven inches uh, exactly. And so again, I have the same problem. I have this little uh, two little pointy things sticking out. So I'm just going to highlight my square. And in this case, I can just shorten it you know, all the way down, it doesn't matter because it, I, I have the final measurement that I want. So if I look at my final here and I highlight all three layers is 6.93 is almost seven inches. And I think that will be okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you want it to be exactly you can just push it a little more if you want it to be exactly the seven inches up to you but at this point i'm happy with this measurement okay so you see well do you have all these colors what's going on here what you're going to do next is you're going to select all the three layers you can either click shift and click on each layer or take your mouse and press the mouse and highlight everything and it's all selected. Once you do that, you're going to click combined and you're going to unite them. And now you have your zipper overlay. Okay. And you can even flatten it now or weld it. Uh, let's merge. We can merge the layers. So now they're all together. It's that, that's it. That's one layer. Okay. So perfect. Now I have my zipper overlay. Now the next thing is to cut out the inside. For that, I'm going to go again to my rec, uh, my square, sorry. And I want, again, the opening I decided was going to be six inches. Right. But my height here is only half an inch. That's usually the measurements for when you add zipper pockets to your bags. It's usually half an inch. So now I have that rectangle, six inches long, half an inch wide, up, height, sorry, and six inches wide. So now I'm going to lock this and I'm going to do another color because again, I, I want to be able to see it. And I'm going to place it over it like this, somewhere in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason for that is because the system makes it perfect for us. What we're going to do is that we're going to select both layers and you're going to click here where it says aligned and you're going to center horizontally. Now it's in a perfect center. 
okay? You have the exact same distance on each one of the sides. If you wanted this to be a little bit wider, if you want this to be a little bit smaller, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. It's your overlay. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it, leave it like this just for this example. But this is not it, right? I'm not done. I now have this image on top of this image. Even if I change the color, you're going to be able to tell that this, is, this doesn't go well together, right? So what I'm going to do next is cut out that center. So this orange image is the template. That's what you're going to use as a template to cut out the center. So the way we do that again is that we join, we select, not join or nothing. We just highlight both of them. We just keep all both of them selected. And you're going to click where it says slice. Once you do that, you're going to have that template. You can remove it. Then you're going to have another cutout here with the same color as your overlay. That's the piece that you cut out. And now you have your opening. So when you take this to the machine, the machine is only going to cut the around and it's going to cut the center. So you can take this little piece of fabric off. Okay, so this is how we did it. This is an example. Um, to show you now we are in before i move on sorry you can do other shapes like i did this one um where is it uh this one i did this one like with the hexagon i think it was yes no it wasn't the hexagon what what shape was it oh it was the octagon okay I think it was that. Yes. Um, you can do other shapes like, uh, for example, let me see. I did another one. That's not it. It's this one. I did this other one. Sorry. This, that it has a heart. That after I did the overlay, I added a heart to it. So, for example, to do this one, what you're going to do is say um, the one that we just made. Okay, this round one. Okay, then I take a heart, for example, and I join it here to the top, right? So it kind of fits there, right? So let, let's make it another color so you can kind of see let me see I like a red red heart you can just join it here looks cute and then again highlight both of them and you are going to unite them and now you have a overlaid with a little heart on the side so again you can get really creative when it comes to this uh, at this point okay and now we're going to cut the, uh, the overlay. I suggest you test a little bit of fabric or this material before cutting your overlay. I had to choose this extra heavy fabric setting because there wasn't anything especially for faux leather. And so I did one first that it was too thick. So I had to redo it and use a thinner faux leather and as you can see I have to, to put some tape on my fabric because my mat is not very new and so it's not sticky as it should be so I use some painters tape masking tape to kind of help keep the fabric in place and actually this thinner type of faux leather worked better. The one I used before was too thick and it really didn't cut the material the way I wanted it to. So just test that before you want to cut your final piece. Make sure your machine can actually cut this material. But other than that, I mean, it turned out really good. Um, and here is the final piece. As you can see, here's the inside that comes right off. And then the other side, I probably have to use some scissors to get it cut. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see. Uh, okay. 
it came right off so look so cute uh let me show you how it looks at the end perfect beautiful now go have fun make as many overlays as you want and i will see you in the next video ciao